On the 21st of October 2021, a young man by the name of Rehan Leach walked into Mount Road Police Station to report that his girlfriend, Vicky Tumblanche, was missing. Three days later, the police would find her body in a shallow grave in a farm. Vicky Tumblanche has been murdered and buried. Just about the same day her body was found, her killers were also arrested. This story is dark and painful as it comes. However, nothing can be more shocking than the twist this story eventually ended with. Vicky used to be married to a 55 years old man by the name of Arnold Tumblash. But their marriage was very rocky. Although she had given birth to a child for him, it was said that Vicky suffered a series of domestic abuses from Arnold. He would beat her constantly, he would cheat on her, he would verbally assault her, and consistently just made her life miserable in the marriage. Eventually, Vicky had enough of this mistreatment in the marriage and decide to file for a divorce. In 2020, Vicky filed for divorce and eventually Arnold agreed to sign the divorce papers. But when they went to court, the judge ordered Arnold to pay her alimony, which means Arnold will rent Vicky an apartment, pay the rent, the light bills, the Wi-Fi bills, and the gas bills for her vehicle. So basically, the court ordered Arnold to give Vicky another life outside of their marriage, pay for her house, pay for her feeding, give her money monthly, and also give her money to take care of their child. They had an infant child, so Vicky was with the child, and the court ordered Arnold to make sure that Vicky was okay outside the marriage until she eventually finds another husband or until she eventually finds something to do. Arnold was like, fine. I'm going to do all of this. I'm going to give her a house. I'm going to give her the, the car. I'm going to pay the rent. I'm going to pay for the Wi-Fi. I'll pay for everything. But she would have to give him primary custody of their child. And that was kind of where their quarrel outside their marriage began. Arnold eventually rented the house and did everything the court ordered him to do. But subsequently, Arnold started fighting Vicky in court for primary custody of their little boy. In which Vicky was like, uh, no. I'm not going to give you primary custody of our child. This is our child. Initially, the court granted them shared custody, which means they would have equal custody of the little boy. But Arnold wanted primary custody. Arnold wanted the child to be with him completely. It's unclear why he wanted it, but that was what he wanted in return for giving Vicky uh, alimony. So over time, they would go back and forth in courts fighting for primary custody of the child. This was when Vicky was now living in a new apartment. So, it was frustrating on Vicky's part. It was said that Vicky was still recovering from the divorce. Vicky was still struggling with the effect of the divorce and the end of her marriage. At a certain point, it was even said that Vicky, through those trauma she endured in the hands of Arnold while she was married to him, almost wanted to take her life. It was said that she attempted suicide. However, while she was going through those turmoils and those hurdles, it was said Vicky met a new boy a younger man by the name of Rehan Leach. Leach came into Vicky's life at the time Vicky was in her lowest. Basically, Leach was her savior. Leach came, loved her, and made her fall in love with him. Eventually, Leach and Vicky would start dating and Vicky's life would start receiving a, a good sense of balance. Now she has a man in her house and she wouldn't have to be worrying about all the effects that Arnold had put her through. When Arnold learned that Vicky had found a new guy by the name of Leach, Arnold stopped paying the Wi-Fi bills and also stopped paying the gas bills for the vehicle because according to him, he cannot be paying these bills for another man to be enjoying. Arnold was like, if Leach, the boyfriend of Vicky, is going to be using Vicky's vehicle and using Vicky's Wi-Fi, then let him pay for it. Arnold was basically threatening to stop paying the rent and the Wi-Fi and the car bills for Vicky if her new boyfriend is going to be using it. It's unclear if he stopped paying the rent, but it was said he stopped paying the gas bills and the Wi-Fi bills because Vicky has had a new man in the house. So, Leach came into Vicky's life at the time she was going through these turmoils in her marriage, at the time she was going through these orders, uh, she was still going back and forth in court, still fighting her husband over primary custody of their little boy. However, on the 21st of October 2021, Leach was said to have gone to the police station to report to the police that his girlfriend, Vicky, was missing. When Leach went to the police, he filed the report and instantly the police swung into action looking for clues as to where Vicky might have gone. When Leach made the report, he told the police that Vicky had been missing for over four days. So at that 21st that he made the report, it was assumed that she had been gone for four days. So when the police began their investigation, they were questioning people who might have known 
where uh, Vicky would have been. But just barely a few hours after Leach made the report that his girlfriend Vicky was missing, the police got a phone call from an unknown number telling them of a house that was suspected of suspicious and malicious activity. The police got a phone call from a stranger telling them to go to a particular address to check out a house, that something was going on in that house, that something wrong was going on in that particular house. The police didn't know who called, but immediately they went to check out the house. So a few policemen went to check out the house. At first they thought this was going to be a house filled with thugs and drug users and drug dealers. That was what they had in mind, that they were going to go and see thugs and drug dealers. So when they got to the house, they did not see anyone. There were drugs littered around, medications everywhere, illegal drugs all around the floor. For some reason, it was confusing to them as to why were drugs everywhere and they also noticed that the windows had been broken and also the doors were wide open which means somebody was in the house not long ago. While they were also doing their research as to who is the owner of this house, they did their background check and discovered that the house belonged to a woman named Vicky Turnblatch. That was when they recalled, wait, isn't this woman the woman somebody came to report to us the previous day that she was missing? They were like, wow, if this is Vicky's house and she has so many drugs all around the floor, is it possible that this woman ran away because she was a drug addict? They were surprised as to how this woman's house was filled with so many illegal drugs. Now, they were still searching the house before something very unusual happened. Like, you will not believe what happened while the police were there after learning that the house belonged to Vicky. Barely a few minutes after they discovered that the house belonged to Vicky Tamblanche, a strange man walked into the house and asked them what they were doing there. The man walked into the house and was like, um, excuse me, policeman, what are you people doing here? And the policemen were like, uh, we were called here that illegal activities were going on here. And the police asked the person, who are you and why are you asking us what we are doing here? And the person was like, um, I live here, this is my house. And then the police looked at the man closely and was like, wait a minute. Aren't you the guy who came to our office yesterday to tell us that your girlfriend was missing? And the man was dumbfounded and silent. Instantly, the police recognized him to be Rehan Leach, the boyfriend of Vicky Tamblan, who had gone missing. Now, the police also recall that when this man came to report in the station, he did not mention that he shared an apartment with the girlfriend. So that was like their first red flag. And the next question they asked him was, how come he's claiming that this apartment that belongs to Vicky is his? They were like, there's something off with this man, Leach. And instantly, they arrested Leach and took him to the police station for more questioning. They did not understand why he was claiming that Vicky's house was his, and they did not understand why he didn't include that he shared an apartment with Vicky at the time she went missing. Which would mean that if Vicky went missing while he was living with her, he should have been a suspect. So, in that instance, they suspected that Leach was not completely honest with his reports about his girlfriend, Vicky, going missing. So when they took Leach to the police station, they questioned him. They were like, there's no way you wouldn't know the whereabouts of your girlfriend. She lived with you. How would you not know? And what about all the drugs we found in the house? Who did all those drugs? Was she the one or were you the one? If she did all the drugs, you would know and you would have included all of these details in the report, but she didn't, which means you are hiding something. For some reason, they were able to crack an address out of Leach. Leach told them of somebody else that they should go and meet that the person would know where the girlfriend is. And the police were like, wait, are you giving us an address to go and meet someone who would know where your girlfriend is? It's odd, but the police did not think too much of it. They were like, okay, fine, we're going to check this address out. They went to the address, then they found a man by the name of Dylan Coolis. When the police got to Dylan's house, Dylan was scared. He was a young looking boy in his 20s or thereabouts, so he was practically scared that the police was in his house. He wasn't expecting the police and he wasn't sure what he had done. So when the police took Dylan to the police station, they were like, what's up? Somebody gave us your address that you would know where Vicky Tomblanche is. She's missing. Do you know she's missing? And Dylan was like, yes, I heard she's missing. And the police were like, okay, do you know where she is? Because somebody told us that you would know. Now, the police did not even need to do so much before they were able to get the startling truth out of this young boy's mouth. Dylan was very scared. He did not want to even prolong the issue. In fact, he probably knew who told the police that he would know where Vicky's whereabouts was because only him and one other person knew where Vicky was. It was in that instant that Dylan confessed to the police that Vicky wasn't missing, that she was dead and was buried at a farm. The police thought Dylan was lying. After all, he looked like a very young, naive little boy. So they were like, what do you mean Vicky is dead and buried in a farm? And Dylan was like, I'm very sure Vicky is dead and buried in a farm. And that is because I buried her in that farm. 
The police were shocked, they still did not believe him. And that was when Dylan offered to take them to the place where he had buried Vicky. The police followed Dylan to the farmland and Dylan showed them the spot where Vicky was buried. And when the police dug up the spots, that was when they discovered that Vicky was indeed dead and had been buried in a shallow grave in a farm. Instantly, Dylan was placed under full arrest. When the police discovered Vicky's body, they knew that Dylan had killed her. And so they held him and looked forward to charging him with the murder of Vicky Tomblesh. But they needed to understand his relationship with Vicky as to his motive, as to why he would have killed Vicky. And they also needed to understand how Leech, the boyfriend of Vicky, who came to report to the police that Vicky was missing, would have known that he was the one who killed Vicky. However, when the police questioned Dylan some more regarding his involvement with Vicky, Dylan revealed another shocking secret. Dylan told the police that he was not the one who killed Vicky, that all he did was bury Vicky, that the person who killed Vicky was her boyfriend, Rehan Leach, the same guy who came to the police to report to the police that his girlfriend was missing. Dylan even went into details as to how Leach killed Vicky. Dylan claimed that Leach had crushed and mixed a large quantity of Percocet, a very active drug capable of slowing down a person's breathing. Dylan claimed that Leach mixed that drug in a drink he served for Vicky. And when Vicky took the drink, she immediately began to react to the poison, making her feel dizzy and complaining that her stomach was aching her. Dylan said he told Vicky to lie down, that she should just take a rest, that maybe it's something she ate. And when Vicky laid down, that was when Leech came with a pillow and pressed it against Vicky's face, snuffing the life out of her. Just said that Vicky struggled to fight, but she couldn't because of the drugs she had taken. And eventually, she gave up the ghost after her boyfriend, Rehan Leech, suffocated her with a pillow. Immediately, the police got this information from Dylan. They went to Leech, who was in another cell, in another uh, questioning room. And they went to Leach and they presented all the things that Dylan had said against him. And instantly, Leach did not even deny. Leach admitted that he did it. And they were like, why would you do this to your girlfriend? Why would you want to kill your girlfriend? And that was when Leach revealed the most shocking part of the story. In his confession, he told them that he was actually sent to kill Vicky. And when they asked who sent him, he said it was Vicky's ex-husband, Arnold Tomblanche. Leach went on to inform the police that Arnold was the one who hired him to date Vicky just to put an eye on her. According to Leach, his relationship with Vicky was all a lie. He was paid and hired by Arnold, pretend to love her and make her fall in love with him so that he can keep an eye on Vicky and then reports to him over everything that she was doing. It was not later revealed that Arnold did this because he was so desperate to win primary custody of their child. Before even making Leech date Vicky, Arnold has been doing so many things to get Vicky in trouble. It was said that Arnold had paid a little child to lie to the court that Vicky gave him drugs. It was said that Arnold met a young man and threatened that the young man's father is going to lose his job if the young man doesn't lie in court that Vicky gave him drugs to consume. It's unclear if the young man went on with that lies, but it was revealed in court that Arnold paid a young man to go and lie on Vicky's head, just so that the court can find Vicky incompetent of being the primary custodian of their child, or even sharing custody of their child. Arnold wanted Vicky to lose custody of the little boy. Arnold lied to the court that Vicky was a drug abuser, that she was a drug addict. Eventually, the court would put Vicky to a test just to be sure that she had drugs in her system. And when Vicky did the test, the, the, the result came out negative, which proved that Vicky wasn't doing drugs and did not have drugs in her system. Another thing that Arnold did was to go and meet Vicky's parents and pay them 50,000 rand to convince Vicky to hand over primary custody of their child to him. Now it's still unclear if Arnold ever paid Vicky's family to convince Vicky to hand over the child to him, but it was said that Vicky's family actually met Vicky to convince her to give this man full custody of their child. But Vicky refused. Vicky was stubborn. Vicky did not understand why Arnold would want primary custody of their child when it was fine that they were both sharing custody of the child. Why does this man want total custody of this little boy? They are both capable of co-parenting. They are both capable of taking care of the child separately. Even though that Arnold was very abusive, Vicky was fine sharing custody with him. But why does this man want the child so bad that he was willing to smear the name of his ex-wife just to make her look bad, all in the bid of getting primary custody of their child? So when Arnold realized that uh, Vicky's family were unable to convince her to hand over 
primary custody. He decided to hire Leach to date Vicky. Leach on his own was a drug addict. He was a criminal. He had uh, an underground illegal drug lord scheme that he was doing. And so Leach needed the money. And when Arnold came to him to pose as a love interest for Vicky and make her fall in love with him, he was happy to take the job. And of course, it worked as planned. Part of Leach's job was to inform Arnold of every step Vicky was taking as regard fighting in court over the custody of their child. Leach would spy in Vicky's legal documents, eavesdrop in her conversations with her lawyers, and then give the information to Arnold. When Arnold saw that that wasn't also working, he was frustrated. And then, he now ordered Leach to make Vicky start taking drugs. Arnold told Leach, okay, see, all these other things we've been doing is not working. Now, I want you to get her to take drugs. I want you to get her to abuse drugs. Get Vicky to start abusing drugs so I can use it against her in court and win primary custody of my child. That was what Arnold ordered Leach to do. And Leach was like, don't worry, sir, I'm on it. And it was said that Leach began trying to make Vicky do drugs. Now, Vicky was aware that Leach was doing drugs. He was smoking weed and doing all those tiny bits. But I guess she was blinded with love because it never really bothered her. Because that should have been a red flag. Saying that she was in the middle of a court battle over custody of her child. The last thing she would want to do is bring a man who is a drug dealer in her house or in her life. So I'm surprised that Vicky did not see the red flag or maybe uh, Leach was pretending all the while until when Arnold ordered him to make her take drugs. But regardless, I would have guessed Vicky would have seen that Leech taking drugs in front of her was a red flag and could affect her battle in court over custody of their child. But let's assume that happened or that did not happen. Leech began attempting to get Vicky to take and abuse drugs. And subsequently, whenever he was doing the blunt or whenever he was sniffing or whenever he was abusing drugs, he would try to convince and seduce Vicky into joining him. And every time he tried, he failed because Vicky never for once took a drug, not a blunt, not a smoke. She didn't even inhale the smoke that he was smoking. And that was when Arnold became very frustrated because it wasn't working. Leach would call him and tell him, sir, it's not working. This woman is not, is not abusing the drug. She's not even taking it. She's not even attracted to it. Instantly, Arnold thought of a final idea. Frustratedly, Arnold told Leach that since it's not working, that they have no other option than to get rid of her. And Leach was like, what do you mean get rid of her? Arnold was like, you would have to kill her because I must get full custody of my child, whether anyone likes it or not. And Leach did not have a problem with it. Leach was like, oh, well, say no more as long as I'm getting paid. That was when Leach reached out to Dylan, a friend, to help him, you know, orchestrate this murder. Dylan started coming into um, Vicky's apartment and, and presenting himself as a friend of Leach. So to Vicky, Dylan and Leach were friends and they were doing drugs together so she didn't really think too much of it not knowing that they were both planning to kill her so between the 19th and 20th of october 2021 that was when leach and dylan carried out the murder of vicky like dylan had confessed leach crushed some medications into vicky's drink which caused her to slow down and eventually suffocated her with a pillow to her face the only problem with it was that they had planned on killing her but they did not know what they were going to do with the body that was something that both dylan Leach and Arnold did not think through. They only wanted uh, Vicky dead, but they did not plan on how to get rid of the body. I guess they thought when she died, she would probably disappear. So when they had finished killing Vicky, it was said that her body was wrapped in a bed sheet. They even changed her clothes. Unsure of what to do with the body, they thought, okay, maybe they should take it to a farm outside the community and bury her there. Leach even called Arnold to tell them that they had killed Vicky and that he should send a car that they would use to go and dispose the body in which it was said Arnold sent a vehicle to go to meet Leach and it was that vehicle that they placed Vicky's body to be buried in a shallow grave. So while Vicky's body was in the trunk of the vehicle, Dylan and Leach were struggling as to, okay, do we really have to bury it or should we just burn it? And if we're going to bury it, where do we get shovels? How are we going to get all of these things? So they were still contemplating on how to go about the burial or disposing of Vicky's body. That was when they thought of the idea to hire some men to dig a hole in a farm. It's unclear if those men who they paid to dig the hole knew what they were digging it for, but after they finished digging the hole, the men left. And that was when Dylan and Leach brought out Vicky's body from the boot of the vehicle and buried it in that shallow grave. After they had buried Vicky, Leach called Arnold and told him the good news that he was expecting. We have killed her and we have buried her. Everything is done. My mission has been accomplished. 
Part of the things Arnold told Leach to do after he had killed Vicky was to scatter drugs around the house. According to investigation, Arnold wanted to paint the image that Vicky was a drug addict who ran away and therefore unqualified to have any custody of their child. So Arnold ordered uh, Leach to scatter illegal drugs all around the house, make it messy, make it look like a crack horse house so that when the police come in search of Vicky, they will see that, oh, she's a crack whore, she's a crackhead. So clearly she ran away because she was doing drugs. And it was said that Leach did so after they had killed um, Vicky in the apartment before they even took her for burial. Leach had scattered drugs all around the house. I'm not sure if he knew why Arnold told him to do so, but he did so regardless. And so after Leach had called Arnold to tell him that, okay, we've buried her and everything is done, Arnold then called his side chick, a married woman that he was cheating on Vicky with. He called the woman to tell the woman to call the police and tell the police to go to Vicky's house that something bad was going on there. That was the same day that Leach himself went to the police station to report to the police that his girlfriend was missing just so that he can clear his name out and nobody will suspect him in case people start asking questions. At the same time Leach did the report, that was when Arnold's side chick called the police to tell them that something odd was going on in a particular apartment that eventually turned out to be Vicky's apartment. So the stupidity here is that Arnold did not even communicate to Leach as to what he would do after he had killed Vicky and probably Arnold did not tell Leach the reason why he is scattering the drugs in the house so Leach was just blindly acting out of the orders that Arnold was giving him obviously Leach did not have a house obviously Leach was homeless so even after he scattered the drugs in Vicky's apartment he would still need somewhere to go and sleep he doesn't have a house and even if he had a house I'm, I'm sure it's not as comfortable as where he stay with Vicky so I don't think anybody in their right mind would leave a very comfortable apartment to go back to the dungeon they used to stay before. So which was why when the police came to Vicky's apartment and found all those drugs, Leach entered the house and was like, this is my house, what are you people doing here? Stupid. This guy was just plain stupid. And that was when the police saw him and was like, but you came to tell us your girlfriend was missing and you didn't also tell us that you were living with her. So what's going on here? And this was basically how the police were able to uncover the mystery behind the disappearance and eventual death of Vicky Tamblanche. Clearly, all three men were stupid in their plans, poor communication and poor sense of planning. And basically, Vicky's spirit was very strong because this was something they could have easily gotten away with. But thanks to their stupidity, the truth was eventually and quickly revealed by the perpetrators themselves. And as Tamblanche was immediately arrested and all three of them have been arrived in court. Currently, this case is still ongoing. They are still battling it out in court. All of them are still trying to say, I did not do much. I did not do this. It's not me that did it. Clearly, Arnold is denying that he ever sent um, Leach to do all those dirty work. And Dylan is claiming that he did not kill her, that he only buried her. Obviously, Leach is the only one admitting to doing all the, all, all the dirt and also pointing fingers at Arnold. So this is a case we would still be following and hopefully the judge will find these three men guilty of murder because in my opinion, all three of them are guilty of killing this woman. But my question is, how did a woman as kind and innocent as Vicky Tomblanche find herself surrounded by men who hate her, by men who wanted her dead? Is it possible she had a thing for toxic men? Because let's face it, she did marry Arnold, whom she knew was terrible to his previous wife. Vicky was not the first wife. There was a woman before Vicky and Vicky knew that Arnold did not treat that previous wife very well. According to research, it was said that Arnold's first wife was tormented and abused to the point that she was admitted into a psychiatric hospital. Arnold abused his first wife so badly that after he divorced her, she had to be checked into a mental institution. Did Vicky know that this man was that crazy before she married him? Because I would believe she would have at least known how he treated his ex-wife before going into that marriage. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. But eventually she got to see it for herself when she was almost at the verge of taking her own life because of the same mistreatment this man gave to her. I mean, if a man was not nice to his ex-wife, what makes you think he would be nice to you? And Vicky got to find that out the hard way. So guys, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends, comment what country you're watching from, subscribe and turn on the notification button so whenever there is a new video, you will be the first to know.